What's going on everyone? Alan here, aka The Bird Bay, and my little Elfie Wolf is with me. Uh, so today in this quick video, I wanted to talk about, you know, how to make some fresh food for your parrot to alternate between feeding pellets and making sure that he or she, your parrot, has a well-balanced nutrition. Um, a lot of what we find is that, you know, you go to certain bird stores or you see what people are feeding their parrots and it's a lot of seeds, nuts, and you know, all that kind of junk food, which is basically all fat and carbs. And uh, while that's great, it usually leads to behavioral problems in your parrot. Uh, sometimes uh, that's the root of aggression and biting is just poor diet, right? Um, if you want your parrot to live long, to be happy, and to develop a good relationship with you, just like us, it starts with what we put in our parrot's body. So if you have a parrot that is a picky eater, like my little guy here, who's currently eyeing the goods here, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm making some fresh chop for Elfie and I'm gonna mix a bunch of different veggies and you know some beans bean sprouts and um, You know some carbohydrates. So basically the base are like lentil bases uh, we have our veggies and then we have uh, over there, I have like brown rice and other basically uh, carbohydrates. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fine, finely chop everything into small little itty bitty pieces so that Alfie can actually pick out what he needs to eat, right? Um, so this is a cool trick that you can try with your parrot, especially if, it's, if he or she is a, a picky eater. So here, what do I have? Uh, I got cauliflower, uh, collard greens, we got some zucchini, yellow squash, red peppers, lentils, uh, beans, garbanzo beans, bean sprouts, uh, we got some um, green bell pepper here and some green beans and beets, right? So I'm gonna walk you through uh, in this quick video on how I'm gonna prepare everything and basically what I'm gonna do, you know, clearly Elfie doesn't need all this food at once, but what I'm gonna do and it's a cool hack is you can, you know, basically meal prep everything uh, and then freeze it and leave it in the refrigerator and thaw out pieces of fresh veggie as you need it so that basically you can incorporate it into your pet's diet. So what I'm gonna to begin to do with Alfie is I'm gonna do a combination of pellets in the morning or afternoon and then the other feeding is going to be uh, this mix of veggies, right? So that way he's getting his greens, he's getting his beans, he's getting his um, carbohydrates and he's also getting uh, a nice pellet instead of like the traditional sunflower seeds um, and you know all that other stuff that a lot of parrots are eating. So I wanted to share that with you guys and we're gonna walk through how to do it in just a second. So just to clarify, if your parrot is ever having any type of behavior or taming issues, the number one thing that I could recommend and the number one thing you should do to start is first, fix the nutrition, fix the diet. That's the baseline that we wanna establish. From there, once your parrot has that you know, down pat and it's like a good consistent sleep schedule, 12 hours, good consistent nutrition, you're not overfeeding it and you making sure that it's getting proper nutrition, then from there you can begin to troubleshoot, you know, any type of behavioral issues, taming issues that you might need and be sure to check out some of those other videos in the channel. Um, but for now, this is kind of what we're gonna go through. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more cute videos of Alfie. And if you see Alfie right now, look at him. He's currently eyeing the goods. Which one you want, buddy? You want a green bean? He's like, I don't want anything. What is this? Let's see, what you want, buddy? Nothing? Okay. Come here. Here, you get a green bean, buddy. There you go. Alfie's got his green bean. He's ready to come help me and uh, prep some food with me. Oh, Alfie. You got all the snacks. You're in birdie heaven, aren't you? Mm-mm-mm. Choices, choices. <laughs> all right, so cutting up some veggies. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the veggies, throw them in here, then throw them in the Nutribullet blender, whatever it's called, 
uh, so that it's finely chopped and Alfie can't pick and choose what he wants. You get what you get, Alfie. Ain't no picking stuff out. Alfie is notorious for picking out what he wants and throwing out half of his food bowl, so we'll see how it goes. Beans. We're gonna boil these. you a tomato, buddy. Juicy tomato. So, while the blender is a great tool, um, there's gonna be some veggies that you're gonna have to chop manually. So I try to chop zucchini and squash and then throw it in the blender in big chunks and basically it ended up being a smoothie. So unless you wanna feed your uh, parrot, parrot smoothie with veggies in it, basically, um, you might wanna cut some veggies by hand. So now I got some beets here. This is probably not the safest idea. I got a white shirt with beets dye to dye it potentially, so um, you know, I think I'm gonna stop there. All right guys, so we're 95% done with Elfie's chop. It's gonna last me about two, three months because he technically only needs like 
probably like a tablespoon, two tablespoons a day for his feeding in the morning in addition to the pellets. So now I'm getting ready to add the garbanzo beans. We got some other beans, lentils coming up, some uh, pasta as well. I think he's gonna like it. He already tried some of this food that he's about to eat and he was loving it. So in about five, 10 minutes, we're gonna see how the chop turned out and we're gonna see if Elfie likes it. Okay guys, so seven hours later, a lot of time, energy, effort, cutting, chopping, mincing, boiling, and all that good stuff in between. Elfie's chop of deliciousness is finally ready. Now I will say, Elfie probably is gonna be eating healthier than I do. I mean, some of these veggies I've never even heard of. And on top of that, some of these veggies I've never even tried. But for your parrot, for Elfie, my little Elfie Welfy, I'm gonna try to give him the best he possibly can because I want him to be happy, healthy, energetic, and build a good bond with my parrot. We gotta develop that win-win. So let's have a look at what that looks like. The good, good. Look at that. We got some, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> But when it's all uh, said and done, it actually looks pretty good. It smells like veggies. It smells like greens, earth, and all that good stuff that a parrot should be eating. Okay, so now it's time to bag it up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to section it off uh, because Elfie's a Senegal parrot. He's a little bit smaller. I'm going to section it off into a bunch of little table heaping tablespoon slash um, portions and squares. And I'm going to allocate those in little sections and I'm going to put the rest in one gallon and two gallon bags. Basically this is going to last them a really long time. I'm going to put it in the freezer. Uh, I'm going to try to suck as much air as possible. Ideally you would vacuum seal it out so that you don't have any air in there and uh, we want to try to remove as much moisture as possible so that you know it doesn't uh, form crystals on the vegetables and, and deteriorate the integrity of it. We want to keep it as fresh as possible. I mean, nothing's perfect, but uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Section it off into squares, put it in the freezer, and then as I need it, I'm going to thaw it out uh, the day of. I'm going to have little tablespoon sized sections in the morning when it's his feeding time the night before. I'll probably just defrost it, uh, put it in the refrigerator to defrost from the freezer and uh, Elfie will be good to go. So let's see how Elfie likes his new chop. P.S. If you put all this effort and energy in for your parrot and the first couple times or maybe even the first time he just like looks at it, looks interested and then your parrot just starts throwing things out. I just want you to know. You're not alone. Elfie does it to me all the time. There's nothing more heartbreaking than putting four plus hours in, two to four hours in, into making all this chop and then your parrot goes off the side, all right? I've been there, I totally understand how it feels. Just be patient. In time, your parrot will learn to love it. Oh yeah, got the fresh chop. Got about three bags of these left over. I'm gonna put the rest in the freezer and cut it into cubes so that I can get whatever I need, unfreeze it, thaw it in the refrigerator the night before, and you have about four months, eh, I would say about two, three months, depending on the size of your bird, of fresh chop. like what the hell is this <laughs> Alfie looks very confused at what his breakfast is he's usually getting pellets he's like what is this Alfie you don't want to eat your food buddy you stared at me like you want me to give you your pellets Alfie said what is this peasant food but where's my food 
Alfie, eat your chop, buddy. It's good for you. Alfie wants nothing to do with the chop. I try to feed it to him from my hand, and he just tossed it to the side. It might take a few days to get used to, which is expected, and I already had foreshadowed that Elfie would not want to eat this chop because he usually likes the good stuff, the fattening stuff, the sweet stuff, the beans by themselves sometimes, and not so much like the veggies. Elfie's finally trying it. I put a navy bean in there, fully cooked, because he likes whole beans, to get his appetite stimulated and to see that there's good stuff down there. And he's trying it now. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Good bird.